talk about the surf culture, I start to get away from that more and more because it's brands label, big waves, tubes, and that kind of stuff. I know a lot of surfers which surf on a, on a you know, they're really interested in it. I don't know a lot of people who do tubes. Uh, you know, that's a different way. And uh, if, if they kind of do the, the the relaxed part to it, uh, to enjoy the time in the water without actually surfing. I think that's most of the time surfing is lying in water, paddle, have sport and do nothing and then just, you know, enjoy ocean and water. And uh, there is the, the, the challenge. And if you don't enjoy that, the surfing is not something you do. seem to get more closer and it's getting warmer uh, and not the other side around. I think family is more important here. And that's also what you find with the people that, that I met. It's more family. And, it, and, and we literally get into the family. That, that was fantastic here um, because I, I really met two genuine Portuguese families, one of Porto, one of Espino, and we went on children holidays and uh, two places they have been going to for years. That's fantastic. I mean, that, that is real travel. But the surfing is, is the one thing. If you look at the culture around it, it's a lot about easy living without a lot of materialistic ballast to it. And I think that's, that's something nice. What, what do I find in Portugal? I think it's it's wave people and, and good food and, 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 and a certain relaxedness to it. It's it's less regulated than it is in Germany and in Holland. It's less crowded, a lot less crowded actually, and that gives a space and, and time to relax and these slow it down a bit. The only way you kind of start people understand where they are, what it is, and to take away the, the, the presumptions is, is by talking to people who actually live there and on a, on a direct base. And I think that's a beautiful thing about traveling.